then there were four. Congratulations to you guys. Things are getting interesting for sure. The challenge is tougher. The stakes are even higher. There is more to lose as the closer we get to victory. Today's challenge is one light. Remember, the devil is in the details, so you have to balance risk and reward. Slow down, learn from the mistakes of past challenges. For this challenge, you will only have eight minutes to set up and create your image. As you know, today's challenge, one will be eliminated as we head into the final three. For equipment today, we have camera and lenses from Canon and all lighting provided by Westcott. You have access to the FJ80, the FJ200, and the FJ400s, along with a ton of lighting accessories. Once your eight minutes is up, you must hand over your memory card and return to the waiting room where you will not be able to view or edit your images until everyone has completed the task. But before we get started, each of you must select a card to determine who goes first. Let's grab a card. Oh, oh my God! So what's already grandma? Challenge winner. So what's already grandma? Oh man! I Hello, America. I am number one. Blah blah blah. So I'm coming out. Uh, we're gonna be using some jails. We're gonna be using some V flats, and we're gonna be using uh, some shallow depth of field. And I'm gonna do a couple different looks, and I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get something amazing. I can't go down anymore. I can only go up. So going first sucks. You don't get to sit in the room and think all the things you want to think and make life beautiful and grand on paper. Just gotta get out here and do it. And I'm glad I went first because that was pressure that I never felt before. I feel like I got a couple options, but I'm gonna have to be a little heavy handed in a uh, post, which I don't like. I'm mostly like a straight out of camera guy with a little bit of enhancement. So this one's gonna be fun for me in the editing room. All right, let's do it. Let's get you out here. I'm still going to try to do both of my ideas. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, my plan is to try and get a little creative with the one light. Make it look like maybe there's more lights. Kind of wrap it around. Do something a little different. Stand out. So I'm taking a, you know, the light and I'm going to put it behind her instead of in front of her. And then put black in front of the light. So the light, you know, is absorbed in the middle and then wraps around her. So she's got this lovely halo and rim light, but nothing here and then I might use a reflector to bounce them back in her eyes. Awesome. And then I've got a safer idea too, in case this doesn't work. <laughs> like I did all right. We'll find out once I get it into Photoshop. See what I got. There we go. Uh, pretty okay, I think. Yeah, mostly okay. <laughs> all right, stakes are high. Number three, Bethany, let's go. Let's go. You ready? One light is primarily what I do at home, so I really need to bring it for this challenge. There's a spot in the back 
that I have been trying to shoot and I really think I have a plan this time. Um, so I'm really excited. My plan is to take this beautiful Victorian outfit and pair it up with that beautiful scene that we have with that green ladder and the fireplace in order to create kind of like a tonal painterly portrait. And then I also want to just pop on um, a classic silhouette that I always do in studio. Hey Siri, set timer, eight minutes. I want the ladder. Turn the light on. This is going to be on Alpha Channel. Alpha Channel. Alpha group. group. Sorry. I don't want to make it harsher. I want this to be really no, soft. You want it really soft, and I need to be here. Yes, Heather. I need you to come down one step, and that will adjust where the light is as well. Oh, this way. Now I'm going to have you look at my light. Same thing. Three minutes in. Yeah, can we bring the light this way? Yep. You really are the best assistant. I know. Um, it's, uh, second best. I'm underrated, really. He's the second best. Yeah. <laughs> Comparing me to her husband, that's unfair advantage for him. She's got to say that. That's pretty. A little bit more on the smile. Five, four. Three, two, one, time. You know, there's a moment, I think, in my career, I can point out the certain moments where the accidents start making sense and the lessons start making sense as well. And I know these judges are being really tough on us, but I think that is the first time I could finally feel my brain slowing, but not stopping. And so I feel good about the rhythm of the shoot and that makes me feel excited to go into editing rather than really scared. I feel good about the rhythm of that. That was, it was tight, but I feel good about the time we took rather than feeling like I was scrambling. So far, really impressed with their resiliency, I guess I would say. Uh, they got hammered after the last challenge, and so far they've really stepped it up. They're slowing down, they're paying attention to details, and they're getting really creative. But it also, uh, there's a lot of pressure on them because they only have eight minutes, so not a whole lot of time to think. Brody's up next, let's go get him. Brody. All right, so we're gonna, I had a plan, I was gonna come out here and I was going to uh, close these doors in the hallway. I was gonna shoot some blue light up behind her um, and then use a reflector from down the hall. There was sun coming in from a skylight out there, which is beautiful. It has gotten quite uh, cloudy, so that sun has gone away, but I think we're gonna still try and shoot this and see if we can pull this out. If not, I'll have to adjust very quickly and we'll, uh, we'll make a move and we'll make something happen either way. right below your chin, right below. There you go. So, give me more separation on that back arm. A little bit more, there you go. And eyes away. Hi. Yeah, so the light was, was tough to nail that coming in. It was coming up from the sky up here uh, using that reflector, but I think there towards the end, I think we got it, it hit just right. Um, hopefully it's going to look great in post when I get in there and start working on it. So, let's see what we can get. Oh, what do we think, guys? Eight Thanks. minutes, stop, change things for you? It was a different Yeah? I didn't have time to do one whole setup I wanted to do. Well, you didn't have time to think about anything either. You just had to go on instincts and work and do your craft, right? And so you did it. All right, you know the drill. 30 minutes uh, to call and edit your final image, right? Again, I'm going to tell you, pay attention to details. The post-production definitely matters. I think you all did really good. I was very proud of you to watch you perform in that eight minutes, so I'm rooting for all of you.
Bulls ready? Yes, I'm ready. They did good. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Unfortunately, somebody's got to go home. This is going to be a conversation. <laughs> oh, man. I think this is more your conversation, Vanessa. I got some yeah. problems here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. I will tell you, for me, it's this image. Same. Jumps out. Uh, and this image. Oh my gosh, do you agree? On yes. something? Yes! This is a miracle. Can you tilt this towards <laughs> me? I'm just wondering if it looks over yet. Is that, she had to save that. Mm -hmm. mm. You can see it. Know you can absolutely see it. It's saved. Yeah. So, that's something to consider if this is a one light challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you didn't have control of your one light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. That did, but we're in agreement on, let's go back to this and go here and here. Being the top too, right? Yeah. We yeah. said we're in agreement. We're in agreement for the first time. Yes. Hey. How amazing is that? That in and of itself could be its own show. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and, and I am, now that we're looking at these side by side, I'm really leaning towards uh, this particular image. Mm -hmm. Also bold for them to go black and white. No one ever has. Has that have they? I don't know that we've seen a black and white image no. come through yet. That is. Uh, oh yes, we had that one with the. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's composition right. Yes. challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I do like about this, though, is it it really does match the outfit. I don't know if that feels right. Like it feels like she's looking through. I feel like she's looking outside through barn doors mm -hmm. or opening up the door. Mm -hmm. And we're getting that sliver of light come through, and we're seeing the catch lights in both eyes, even mm -hmm. the eye in the shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's being framed up incredibly well. Mm -hmm. And you know what I like about this? They did not over retouch the eyes and throw light into the eye where the shadow is. Right. And that is a big pet peeve of mine. Yeah, this. Which I see in some of these other images. This was good control of light. You've got great skin texture here mm -hmm. uh, in the image. Uh, so they've. I think they've done a really good job with this. So. I agree. This makes it easy. Do we, yeah. we all agree this is the one, yes, huh? Yes, you agree. Oh, miracles do happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is tough. This one is tough. I feel like the pose is very, it's a monster attack. Yeah, it's, it's. I love the pose. You love the pose. I, do, I can so see sorry. it being very editorial in both. So I can, well, showing sorry. off the dress. Mm -hmm. Wow, so talk talk to me about this. Get, get Vanessa off the ledge on this. I mean, the pose is great. I love the play with the shadowing on the face and the surroundings and throwing that blue in there just kind of gives it a punch. Like, I really love that image. You know, the pose does, I know you love it. I don't particularly it love it. it. I mean, I don't truly love it, but we do funky little poses like that too. We. As fashion photographers, we think outside the box, and we don't like normal poses. Right, mm -hmm. right. You got to do something different. Right. Uh, you definitely did something different than all the, than all the others. Mm -hmm. So we're back to a very difficult decision here. We have a winner. Yeah. All right. Let's send it to print. All right. Creators, today was exciting to watch. You are finally pushing yourselves and trusting your instincts. Every one of you worked hard today to stand out. However, unfortunately, the decisions are getting harder and harder. One of you will be going home today. Our judges today again are fellow Canon Explorers of Light, Vanessa Joy and Loretta Houston. Vanessa is a wedding and portrait photographer based in Austin, Texas, and Loretta is a fashion, editorial, and commercial photographer based in LA. When your image is shown, please step forward so that we can critique your work from today. First image up, Bethany. So where do we begin? Vanessa, you wanna take lead on this? Sure. This was a beautiful use of one light, very soft, flattering on her, pose was good. We were concerned that maybe you blew out the skin a little bit and had to bring it back, I thought so. Um, so being that this was a one light challenge, you didn't control your one light, which can be super frustrating. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the things that we really enjoyed about the image was this image felt like it was a period piece. So you kind of worked with the outfit she had on and it felt, everything felt right. The time, the period, the lighting. Uh, but I mean, really, I can't stress this enough to Vanessa's point, you blew out the highlights on her forehead. You tried to recover them, whether it was in Photoshop or Lightroom, doesn't matter. 
Um, but if I'm just being blunt, you didn't do a good job of it. So we've, you've either got to learn how to fix that in post-production or learn how to get it right in camera. And considering there's only one light, the one thing you should be watching are highlights. Loretta? And for this image, I felt the composition was great. The styling by adding the ladder kind of boosted up a little bit. It gave me a painting from back in the day kind of feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I totally enjoyed looking at this picture. Bethany, your journey continues. Congratulations. <clears throat> All right, Jess, step forward. Uh, you want to start on this? You want to take a lead? Yes. Um, so this image was not my best choice at all. Um, not saying it's not good. It's just there's blown out on the, I mean, the eyeballs. I went straight to the eyeballs, straight to the eyes, and it just wasn't matching. Um, I think you blew out the, the part of the face there overall, and then you actually cropped the image at the joint of the arm. So, you know, other than that, I mean, that's the, that's the only problem I had with the picture. You know, we've talked about this breathing room on an image. You can always crop in, but you cannot crop out. It's the, she needs a little more breathing room. You've got her looking away out of frame. Give her some breathing room on that right arm. Give her some breathing room on that left arm. So you just got to be careful. That's not really what dinged you, right? So I don't want to get stuck in on the crop. That's just one of the things. The real problem was for me, eyeballs. She's looking way too far away, right? I'm seeing way too much white of her eye. And then, I don't want to assume, but it appears like you have really whitened her eyes in post-production. So is that just the V flat? Yeah, so, and, that, and that's the rub, right? So you run the risk of, because it's not being whitened in, in post-production, but that white eye is so distracting. If, if she had just had her eye a little more left, I really do love what you were trying to accomplish with this image. I mean, you were, the way you lit it, I was there with you. Uh, the way you lit it and chose to, to proceed with this, I think you did a good job. We just got, we lost some points on final execution from it. Yeah, and just little tweaks on posing. She's in between of a full profile and a three quarter. You just gotta go one or the other because in between doesn't work so well with you know how that bright part and the nose crossing the plane of the face. It's, too much stress on her face, especially when her eyes are looking so far you off. You really did, you almost lost it on this challenge, I'm telling you. If you turned her face, I mean, she, her nose is already breaking that cheek, uh, and we see that right eye, and that's usually a big no-no when it comes to portraits, right? Rules are made to be broken, but I don't think that's what was happening here. But, Jess, congratulations, your journey continues. All right, next image. Brody. Um, Loretta, I'm gonna let you, this was a favorite of yours. Yeah, I think it just pushed, you pushed a little bit more of this go round. Um, I like the use of the blue in the background and the pose is, is good, but it's not great, right? But as a fashion photographer, we like to break the rules in posing, right? We have all kind of awkward type poses. So this is okay for me. I think you should have, uh, used a little bit more contrast in her face, so it brought her out of the shadows. But other than that, that's it. I will give you credit. This was a one light challenge. Uh, and as we were critiquing the images, uh, Vanessa caught very quickly. She's like, where's that second light coming from? I'm like, well, he's he pushing limits on the rules. He was pushing in a reflector. Technically, we we're only using one strobe uh, on that. So. The problem for me with this particular image is composition. That one is really making me struggle and I was there with you. And so I'm just praying that this isn't a case of you picking the wrong image to put in front of us because it's so off balance for me. The doors, the crop, the headroom. Uh, so even if I get around the pose and everything else, it's the composition that just, it feels awkward to me. And that's the only word I know how to use to, as a descriptor here. Same thing on my end, it was the pose, I can see you pushing yourself here and trying, but it was like almost, but not quite. Um, but then as far as lighting goes, we have that hot spot on the right side um, that draws my attention instead of going to the subject. But I really enjoyed uh, you using some color in here and making and creating an atmosphere and mood. And I think you did, I think you, you pushed yourself. All right, next image. Leroy, um, 
one of very few images that have been put in front of us in black and white. Uh, so it definitely um, grabbed our attention there. Some of the problems with this image uh, is that right eye falling into shadow and her nose having the brightest spot on it, right? And so I'm not sure that we want to draw attention uh, to her nose, but that I found to be a little bit distracting in the overall image as we were going through it, right? I'm, I'm just really focused on her nose. Um, that was something that really was a problem for me. Loretta? For me, I love the composition in this image. It really draws you into the middle part of the, the whole frame. And she looks like she's peeking out, like, what do you want? What do you need? What do you need from me? <laughs> so I really enjoyed this image. This was almost a full story for me, but where's the rest of it? it it's mysterious in a way, but the bottom half of her body, I'm kind of like, what's happening it's also brighter like if you just bring up a hand i think that shoulder would have dropped it would have come less out of the light not been so much there and then i would have had a little bit more of a story having her hand involved pushing open the door something to just add to a little bit more Whew, this is tough we're getting down to the uh getting down to the bottom congratulations to all of you we're in the bottom top four uh so you made it to the final four both of you it's been an incredible journey uh, I've enjoyed personally working side by side with you, watching you work, watching you grow. I don't know if you realize this, during this series, the two of you have grown. I've watched you take risks, I've watched you fail. Uh, and it's honestly, as an educator and as someone who here, who's here on the panel, it's just been awesome to watch. But unfortunately, uh, only one of you will continue forward and the other's journey ends tonight. Leroy. Congratulations. Leroy, this was an incredible image. You did an awesome job. Brody, stay up there for me. Leroy, this was an incredible image. Uh, you did a really good job. There was, in fact, a story there to be told. I think converting to black and white, I was with you as you were making this image, and the color images you were coming up with <laughs> were really bad. Uh, but converting this to black and white was the smartest thing you could have done. And it really lent to this old world style of image. You, you did a great job with it. So Leroy, congratulations on winning yet another challenge. Your journey continues, my friend. Congrats. Brody, what can I say? It's been a journey. Absolutely. You have grown. I hope you feel that way as an artist over the last uh, several challenges. You have pushed yourself, you have challenged yourself, and it's been an honor for me to be side by side with you watching it happen. Your journey is far from over, my friend, and so you're just getting started. Uh, it's sad to see you go, uh, but I am excited for your future. So unfortunately, Brody, your journey will not continue with us uh, on the series, but good luck. Wow, what an experience, right? So I came in here with uh, zero expectations other than coming here and trying to kick some ass. And uh, I came in here and I met a great group of people, um, everyone that I will continue to be in contact with. Uh, I got to spend time with uh, someone that I look up to and, and Sal and, and got to learn absolutely so much this, this, th through this process that I couldn't even put it into words. I pushed myself on this last challenge to do something outside of the box that I normally would not and have not done. And, um, it didn't work out, but I learned from it, and that's what matters going forward, and we're gonna continue to grow, and uh, I'm gonna be around, you guys will see me.